Hi there, I'm Christopher Nuttigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge interior walls cons called the Tulip Double with Hurricane. This is the 20 21, 85. This is a wonderful collection of sconces in Hubberton Forge's Reflections collection. Um, let's get into details on this. This is 24.1 inches high and that's going to be from the bottom of the fixture to the top of the fixture which is glass. 6.4 inches wide. 3.5 inch projection from the wall out to you, which means that this is ADA compliant. Those of you who are designers and architects out there that are looking for an ADA compliant fixture that which in Americans with Disabilities Act can't go out more than four inches from the wall, this is a very good sconce for you. So um, let's get into lamping, what's inside of this. This is going to be using two of these porcelain type B, and that's the smaller chandelier size, screw in light bulbs. And you can use incandescent, you can use fluorescent, you can use LED. Most of you won't be using fluorescent. A few of you might still be using incandescent. If you decide to go there, it's a 60 watt max per socket. For LED, there is no max. Uh, as far as electricity goes because these LEDs, and this is one of them, this is a type B, kind of a torpedo shape, they don't draw a lot of current. They're drawing, this is probably drawing about 4 to 6 watts someplace in there. This is most likely a 40 watt equivalent. I can't really tell. Um, I think these max out at 60 watt equivalents when you look online. In the future you might be able to find them higher uh, light equivalent, higher lumens, just a matter of looking and waiting for technology to kind of, you know, come up to speed, though it's doing great right now. Mounting height on this fixture is going to be let's say 6.7 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of the electrical outlet box. Um, a great way for you to see a lot of details on this is under the pull down menu on the right hand side of your screen, scroll down and you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. Those are the install instructions that are going to be in the box for this and they show you drawings and lots of information about about the how this goes on your junction box, the lamping, how the glass goes on, a full parts list, and that's going to be the same thing for a lot of Harbertson Forge fixtures. So always remember that PDF is going to be hiding on the page someplace. Um, jumping right back to this for a quick sec, it's a dimmable fixture. If you want to dim it, make sure that you buy dimmable bulbs that includes LEDs. Okay. Uh, moving on from there, let's talk about glass on this. You're going to have two options. You're going to have frost, which is basically a frosted glass, and you're going to have clear. And if you do clear, remember you're going to be able to see the bulbs. And you might elect to do like a flame tip bulb in this, which is a little more pretty. Or I think this torpedo is probably going to be fine for that too. But um, just remember that when you are doing um, the clear. And so those are your two options, frost and clear on that. Let's get into finish on this. If you're familiar with Hubbardson Forge, they have a whole bunch of different finishes they offer. But in Reflections, the Reflections collection, it's really limited to two or three. And the reason for that, when you get into plating, Vermont doesn't really allow, well, they allow it, but they make it incredibly hard for manufacturers to, to set up plating shops in their factories because of environmental rules. It's incredibly, incredibly expensive. So Hubberton Forge, on the very limited scope of a few fixtures, has to send these out to be plated outside of the state of Vermont. So they're going to be limiting you to two different finishes. One is going to be a uh, chrome, which is a shiny chrome. I think they... Do they call it shiny chrome? Polished chrome, I think that is what they call it. Or brushed nickel. And um, they're both beautiful finishes. I worked in the jewelry industry. I know finishes, especially plating. And I've been to a lot of platers in, in Rhode Island, of all places, back when the jewelry industry was really rocking there. Um, so I got to see it in action. And the plating on this is really top-notch. It's really beautifully done. So that's that. Okay. So uh, I think that kind of covers most of the big things on this. When you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No other dealer does that. Some larger items and custom things do not come back. We'll always tell you about that on the page for those things so there's no surprises. We also have a rush program. Hubberton Forge doesn't really stock anything for the most part. It takes about three to four weeks. We can cut that time in half. It's very inexpensive and it's per line item. So just drop me a quick note or a call and I can fill you in on details on that. Our email address is sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont or you can call us at 802-446-2400. I'm here every day except Sunday, uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and 
showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. And let's talk about that showroom. We have the biggest showroom of Hubbardton in the, in the world. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors of our historic mill building here in Vermont. You can see what's on display. It's over on the left-hand side of your screen in the red tab. So click on that and you'll see a big, giant list of everything that's here. We also have a clearance center, and clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an awesome deal. Come and take advantage of its returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples, and you have to come here to use it. So that kind of covers everything. Any questions, let me know. We would love to see you here in beautiful Vermont, and um, have a great day. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.